Welcome back. Today's story is Saturday is Datterday, written by Robin Pulver, illustrated by R. W. Allen. After the twins were born, Mimi and Dad had an idea for their same favorite day. It came after Friday, and Mimi and Dad called it Datterday. Every Datterday starts out the same way. Mimi and Dad make silly shaped pancakes for breakfast. They read the comment section of the newspaper. Then they make a list of ideas for what to do on Datterday. On a sunny day, their list might say go to the library, play catch, weave flower garden, draw with chalk on the sidewalk, play hide and seek, ride bikes. Uh oh, says Dad. No match. I meant ride bikes to the library. Mimi explains. Uh, that's a match. On rainy days, their list might say play checkers, repair bike, splash and puddles. Splash and puddles, play checkers, have a party for stuffed animals. It's, it's a, a double, double match. match. They say together. Mimi always says, Saturday goes by too fast. Time flies when you're having fun. Dad agrees. Then, one Friday evening, Dad says, I'm so sorry to tell you this, Mimi, but I have to work on Saturdays from now on. I just found out today. What about Saturday? Asks Mimi. It still will be Saturday when I get home. Says Dad. We'll make the best of it. It won't be the same, moans Mimi. Mimi was right. In the morning, there is no time for silly pancakes. Mimi soaks. This is batter day. Reading the comics alone is no fun. Mimi needs help with too many words. This is murder day. She grumbles. Mimi makes a list of all she can think of. Wait for that, wait for that, wait for that. This is Saturday, whines Mimi. Dad feels sad too, says Mom. Then he shouldn't go to work, Mimi complains. I'll play with you when the twins take their nap, says Mom. Mimi wails. Saturday cannot be Mummer Day. Mom sigh. Well, it's not Mimi Day either. Hmm, be like that, says Mimi. And by the way, those twins don't even match. Today should be Mimi's day, thinks Mimi. Then Dad will have to stay home for me. Me, 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 me. 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 After lunch, Mimi waits for Dad. She makes a list for when he comes home. Piggyback ride, play catch, ride bikes. Dad will be tired. Mom warns. I don't care, says Mimi. Mimi watches the clock. Time doesn't fly. Time hardly moves at all. It seems like time is taking a nap. Mimi yawns. She is tired of doing nothing. She yawns again. What if she and Dad are both too tired to do stuff when he gets home? Mimi has to do something to make time fly. She thinks and thinks. Finally, Mimi has to admit, Saturday is the best word for the day after Friday. Then Mimi has a good idea. Up and down the stairs she goes. Down and up. Outside and in. Back and forth. Hurrying. But if Dad comes home too soon, Mimi forgets about being mad. She forgets about being sad. Dad calls to say he's on his way. 
Now, time is going too fast. Hurry. Mom helps with silly shaped pancakes. Mimi makes party hats for the twins. I'm home. Says Dad. Surprise. Says Mimi. Wowie. Says Dad. Oh, this for me. Who else? Asks Mimi. It's Saturday. Oh, I love you, Mimi. Says Dad. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. Says Mimi. <laughs> And that is the best match of all. If you enjoyed today's story, please hit the like button. Thank you for clicking on Sly's Reading Time. Please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. That lets you know every time I upload. Thank you.